product not yet rated. Are you ready, kids? So yeah, so just in case you didn't know, this is one of my all-time favorite games. Oh, this is one of my all-time favorite games. Not only is this game a really decent platformer, and also one of the best tie-in video games to a franchise ever, it was also one of my very first console games that I've ever received. This game had introduced me to gaming culture entirely. One of my very first. And you could say it was easily one of the first to get me into gaming. It is a completely 100% decent platformer, and I am so excited to be getting the reunited, reunited trilogy for them. So yeah, in preparation for this game, I figured I'd start a SpongeBob marathon on all of his best games that he's received on all platforms. Uh, but we won't be starting with this game right off the bat. No, we'll probably save that a little closer to the release date. Instead, I figured we'd start off with SpongeBob, do you see it? Here, hold on. Focus, focus real fast. Right here. Right here. Here, hold on. It's just like, tap it. Yeah! SpongeBob SquarePants! The Lost Spatula! It's only fitting that we start off with this, considering it was one of my very first handheld games, and also, I believe, SpongeBob's very first video game. So, yeah, let's jump right in! We start our journey with SpongeBob. Look out, SpongeBob! You're you're gonna hit something. Uh, it's a statue. Uh, it's not any ordinary statue. This very statue marks the entrance to the underworld, as Mr. Krabs puts it. It said that there was a city of Palm Bay. <laughs> there was a master fry cook who ruled with a golden spatula, but Mount Cab Cabluvius. Bury Palm Bay that started the Greece fires that ended the Greece civilization and the Flying Dutchman became the ruler. Kabluvius? Like, like that volcano, uh, Mount Vesuvius that killed millions of people in Palm Bay? Palm Bay? Palm Bay? Oh my god. This is a, this is a kid's game. Why? Yes, uh, to sum this up, a real world event where people horrifically died in fire and ash killed this master fry cook. The Dutchman took over, and now this is the underworld. Someone saw these two ideas, took them, and they were like... You know? It's just like they don't... They don't mesh together quite nicely. Well, whatever, we gotta make Mr. Krabs rich, I guess. So, I mean, let's go. Press A to see the items, press up to get helpful advice, like, meow, awesome, cool. Our first objective looks to talk to Mrs. Puff. All right, I can do that. That's that's more than possible. Oh my God, I've been attacked, and he, he took my pants. Better fight back. Oh no, is that my attack? So yeah, this game really isn't weighed in your favor. Some enemies can approach you faster than you can attack, but I'll give him this, it has all the realism of trying to attack a charging enemy with a bubble. So uh, good on you, game, I guess. So your default life is two. Whenever an enemy attacks you, they take an article of your clothing. So when you're down to nothing, you lose, much like in real life because you're naked. But as Miss Puff shows you, you have the hall monitor uniform, so you can take an extra hit. Now, these uniforms are scattered all over the map, and you're probably gonna need them, considering how hard it is to defend yourself in this game. You'll be seeing this a lot. <laughs> okay, so we're at Goo Lagoon. All these NPCs are telling me to find the anchor. Most of them, at least. Why is there a, uh, an enemy in the starting area? I'm having a hard time finding this thing. Where is it? Oh, I, I missed the jump. I guess I'll just wait to die. I think. At least it's, uh, is, is this a glitch? Nope, no, no, I'm there. <laughs> we didn't need it! A pirate chest. There are four pirate knobs hidden. You'll need to find them all. Here's a map to help you out. Also, I'd like to point out that uh, Mr. Krabs is a dirty liar. The rest of the game is you trying to find these knobs from the rest of these locations. Now, I'd be really eager to do so if I could leave. Can't get past any of these clams. These bubbles aren't doing anything. I've been on this level for eight minutes now. What is going on? This is why I hate games from this generation. All right, let, let's take a quick look at the Game Boy. What do you see? How many buttons do you see there? Four, four buttons, but really two buttons. The A and the B. That's all you have. One is a jump and one is an attack. And if a game wants to add any more variations, what they what they would do in this generation of games is that they'd have you hit the select or start button and hit a navigational menu and select even more attacks that you have there. I I don't get this. I, this is why I don't like games from this generation. 
Just have either it be the A or the B. We don't need more attacks than there already is. I mean, it's, it's, you don't need it. You don't. I think it's fun. I think it's, I think it's silly. Now, I'm sure an NBC told me somewhere that I had to do this, and I would have preferred a standard attack, but whatever. I can deal with this now. It's a lot easier. Oh my god. First area, total breeze. I just moved to the left a bunch and got my first key. And now the second area was not as easy. There was a solid five room stretch with no checkpoints and enemies you can't see coming and items you constantly have to switch through to progress. Now do not take that lightly, it's jump. Take the hit from the fish you can't see. Jump, bring out your jellyfish net. Avoid, equipped, avoid, equipped, take the hit. Die, die, die! And you know how long that took me to complete? A long time. Okay, next world, the carnival. This is not the carnival. Also, if you're gonna have to play a platform through your little game, the least you can do is let him load the last save. Yes, in my frustration through these jumps, whenever I fell off, I'd have to hunt down an enemy to kill me because it was easier to have them kill me and send me to the last save than actually walking all the way to the last save. I don't like it. This game also has the audacity to ask you to make leaps of faith all the time. You haven't earned my trust yet, game. Yeah, I really don't know why it encourages you to do this because there's always enemies right off the screen you can't See. No boss this time, just grab the pants, get the key, and go, give the pants to Patrick, and he gives you an upgrade, I think, and move on to the last area, the desert. Oh, is this the, is this the statue Spongebob stumbled upon? It's right here in the open for anyone to see. That, all right. So now the boss here was very confusing. I'd feed him a Krabby Patty. I tried to attack him again, thinking maybe the Krabby Patty would serve as a light distraction. But no, I, you feed him till he dies. No joke. You stop the man's heart with your greasy food. You get the last key from his dead corpse, and you also get Sandy's hat, which I guess he had. And I think Sandy gives you an upgrade, but for what I can tell, nothing really changes. It, I don't feel any different. SpongeBob puts all the keys in, then he falls down to rock bottom. All right, ooh, this area has the best music in the game, no joke. It also has a bunch of secret walls which lead you to the depths of hell itself. <laughs> Yeah, no joke. All right, just keep in mind that this is the burnt down ruins of Pompeii. I, I'm sorry, Pompeii. I'll let that sink in for a second. Oh, <laughs> Woo oh my god, this game is so challenging. Uh, I keep dying in the exact same place over and over again in this game. I don't understand why it's so challenging. I think it's because I'm getting so impatient with this game that I just want to rush through it. And I keep killing myself. I had to have my roommate come in here and help me finish this part. Thank you, Matt. But also, do you have to one-up uh, one me on everything I do? You've already passed to me a TikTok, Matt! What more do you need to take? Okay. I'm at the last boss. He says that he hasn't had a good meal in ages, so yeah, fling some patties into the man's mouth until his heart bursts. Well, that would be the plan. Unfortunately, these things falling from the sky are a little too challenging for me to dodge. All right, I have you this time. What? I'm out? Wait a minute, am I out? Are you serious? I can run out of patties? All right, maybe, well, maybe they're the chests that he's dropping? That, that would make sense, right? It if you run out of patties, you need to go find some more in the level. Uh, where are they? <laughs> Beats me, have fun. Okay, I have an extra pair of pants, I'm fully stopped on patties, and I've played this enough to know your pattern. I'm ready to take you down. Oh, oh my god, I, I, I think I did it. There it is, it's beautiful. Grab it, Mr. Krabs becomes rich, Spongebob becomes the best fried cook ever, and the credits roll. Now, is this a good game? No. Not at all. Each level highlights the game's weakness. Poor enemy design, bad platforming, checkpoints too far and in between, and this. But to be honest, this game has some charm. Good music, decent visuals, and secrets and references. Very cool. I mean, this game was made by a very decent team, by Carrie's Visions. Yeah, the same people that made the Crash Insane trilogy. But all in all, an okay start to the SpongeBob hype train. Also, hello, it is me, Future Hayden, once again. It's been like six months since the beginning of this this recording session. Maybe even eight since the beginning of this video. It's, it was a, it's a long, long, long time in the making. But I'm glad that it's finally, uh, uh, freaking over. Also, I have a, a camera, Georgia. How, how you doing, sis? You know. <laughs> we have plenty of SpongeBob games to go through. Look at all these. I got this one. This one's kind of decent. This one's pretty fun. It's actually really good. I got Atlantis. I got a lot of SpongeBob games that we can all play. So what will we? <laughs> So we'll play them soon. Anyways, if you like this video, I'd like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. I'm a tiny YouTuber. Tiny boy. And I'll leave you with one question. 
Does the Flying Dutchman actually need his dining sock? He's doing just fine in this game. There's a deep SpongeBob lore by Kara's Visions, and you gotta follow through. 